of how the optimal scoring looks. So we've got these bandings, 50 is average, so you'd be kind of right smack in the middle of that um, graph at average, but then we've got these optimal traits, so levels. So those are the guidelines for what tends to be a successful trait level in a leader. So it's good to have these kind of visual guidelines to say this is close to optimality. The other thing I have to say is these aren't kind of hard and fast arbitrary cutoff points. So if someone's scoring on the borderline between moderate and optimal, then there is a role to kind of think about, okay, well, they're right on the border of all of these optimal traits. Um, because they're one point low doesn't mean they shouldn't or can't be a leader. Um, these optimal bandings are kind of used as guidelines, but they shouldn't be used exclusively without kind of expert judgment, looking at the range of traits and looking at other kind of potential predictors like intelligence, like capability, like how they work with others, all of those other factors. Yeah. Because people are used to percentile scores,